aqueous polymer solution and its subsequent high pressure on the surface of the water process produce harsh cooling rates because of the liquid droplets in the surface and cause the high rate of heat transfer. Okay? This is very like simple to understand. Okay? Like you, you need only on the surface only very uh, minute thickness of okay, the okay? and very high cooling rate required, then you use a spray and also this used okay. So where you will have a high pressure and will give you know work with sufficient cooling rate. So there, there the rate of heat extraction can be varied over a wide range of uh, range by varying the quantity of the sprayed liquid. Okay? So like if you if you increase the quantity of spray liquid then the heat extraction again along like in that way it will vary now, right? If you like for example this is the piece, okay, work piece, heat treated work piece, okay. And you are quenching spray quenching. So we are only focusing on this part, okay, of this. Then you have to see that very small amount of liquid is required, okay, you can spray using a nozzle, okay. Here. But if you want to completely spray this part, okay. Right? So heat extraction in this case will be less, okay, it's in this case it will be more, na? Clear? So the heat extraction here it will be less and here it will be more. Because more liquid is actually contact with the workplace. Okay? So that's what it says here, okay? Okay. And compared to percent quenching, spray quenching allows better control to the of the water because you can easily actually control the thickness of okay, right? So you can easily, whatever part you want to quench, you can easily quench that. Huh? Like for as I said, like if you want to specifically on the surface of the unit, you don't need this part. Here, yeah? then you can easily do this on this one, right? This will be good. Okay. Yeah. Then that way, these are actually, these are actually Difficult to achieve, okay, because using a high pressure nozzle and all is also costly, okay, and that too also to control this is a little, little difficult. Okay. Huh? Similarly, gas quenching, okay, so here heat removal is by blowing a system of gas over the workplace, sometimes after oxidizing in a vacuum furnace. So inside a vacuum furnace also you can use the gas, okay, right, and the cooling rate is faster than the obtained in steel layer, okay, obviously if you have a gas quenching. So compared to air quenching, okay, you will have faster cooling. Clear? Yeah. Uh, then achieved in oil and it's controlled by the type like pressure, velocity of cooling rate, the cooling gas, okay, that, 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 this pressure of the gas, velocity of the cooling gas will affect the cooling rate. Okay? So if more pressure is there, so more gas is actually under like this quenching, huh? the back press. But like if you have velocity also, more velocity is there, right? So you, you also have faster cooling rate. Means heat expression will be better. Right? So in that way, like the gas quenching also done. Okay? So basically, inert gases are used like helium, argon, okay, nitrogen, even sometimes CO2 also used. Okay? CO2 gas, okay? Yeah. But this is CO2 gas is actually done when you have cast iron and all. Okay? The carbon should not react with it. Steel, right? Because so then CO2 can easily react, right? In that way. Inert gases that are helium, argon, nitrogen are used. So, now, fog, fog quenching is nothing but no, it is uh, very profitable for quenching of cast and core steels, okay? So, cast structures can be done by fog quenching <coughs> because uh, these are actually very huge products, okay? Large size of the cast products are very huge, okay? Cast products are used. Like for, an, for example, you, want, you have a earth mover. Earth movers are like the, used in uh, mining. Huh? In the uh, open, uh, open house cast, okay? Mines, actually, mine city for huge, very huge uh, structures of like a vehicle will be there, okay? Those are called earth movers, okay? So the wheels of the earth mover, how do you make that? You cannot make by no. Joining, welding, and all, right? Clear? Yeah. You have to cast it. Clear? Yeah. So the casting is done. Okay. Similarly, the or like you have a, like a, a roller is there for construction purpose. Roller is used. Okay. The wheel of those also made by casting. Clear? Okay. Yeah. So wherever very very huge components are required, casting is important. Clear? Yeah. Casting, casting will be very important. Similarly, forging also helpful. Clear? Okay. Yeah. There will be very huge components can be made and also properties can be actually optimized. So in those cases, if you want to make no 
like uh, treatment of these processes clear yeah? uh, these materials generally okay cast and four steels then you go for fog punching clear yeah? because fog punching can be you no know, generated for a huge like the space can be more okay, right that's why this fog punching is actually taken up it can control the cooling rate in a wide range okay means if the structure is like very huge because very huge structure cooling rate Controlling cooling rate is difficult, na. For small pieces, it is easy to control the cooling rate. For large pieces, it is very difficult, na. Surface too cold, it is very difficult. But if you have a fog punching, it can be achievable, okay? Clear. Yeah. And it can make uniform cooling at various sections of a method with complicated shape and controlling the flow rates of water and compressed air. So, very basically, the fog actually is nothing but this is nothing but some water vapor, na. Yeah. Clear. Which is at some pressure, right? So that is what we are talking about. So depending on the sequencing processes, actually very depending on what the type of cooling rate you are actually desiring, and also the size of the specimen, right? Yeah. Shape and size. अब ज़्यादा बड़ा size होगा तो एक furnace में नहीं ले सकते, है ना? Yeah. इसको एक अलग system में लेना होगा, right? So that's what this sequencing methods are. Gas punching, fog punching, they are generally done for very large size specimens. Okay, here. Yeah. But you can have this kind of specimens. Okay. Spray punching you can done for very intricate shapes. Okay. Direct punching, intervertical, sorry, or your uh, interrupted punching can be done for small pieces. Also. Okay. So next uh, 